Hello, Manchester, and today we're back with Urban Legend and Libel. Uh, so as I told or mentioned before in the last episode, we're playing Urban Legend and Libel again, but this time with an English Translate patch, so we know what the hell's going on in story mode. And for those who are too lazy to go to the wiki to look up every single character's route, this is uh, probably the best way to go through it. So let's do it. Let's go story mode. If I can press the bloody thing. Oh, there we go. Normal. So we just finished Raymond's route, which is the prologue one. So we'll go to Marissa next, and let's deal with that. So obviously we'll go to Mass Spark. Can't back down now. So then what happened? With the shouty person and the cult aura and stuff. Hmm. I don't quite remember, honestly. What? You sure you weren't dreaming? Hmm. Sure, it's a shame though. If, we, if it were me, I would have captured them alive. Ah? Uh? Anyway, give me my ball back. What? What's this it's about a ball? Don't play dumb. The shadow person showed up because of that thing. I'm gonna investigate this. Alright, investigate we will. Okay, start off the bat. Aw, oh, damn it. That's fine. I was hoping to be in the right position here. There you go. Wow, nice blocks. Come on. Nope. Missed. That's one down. Should be her spell card now? Oops. Wait, how did... Okay. That's lasers. Been a while. Okay, I'm in the safe range. I can't remember if she only has one spell card in the be beginning. I will figure out after this. Oh, this could have been a perfect game. Well, okay, no. Okay, yeah, it could have been a perfect game, but whatever. We'll manage for now. So let's see what's next. That's weird. I kind of thought you had a, you'd have all seven of them. Well, I don't. Speaking which, the one I stole from you vanished at some point as well. Hmm, just what is going on here? Alright. No matter what, don't look up. My nose tell me there's an occult ball around here. And, and aside from the ball, I smell treasure too. Well, it is a treasure ship. Do you need something? Chirin, there you go. Whoops, here comes trouble. What is it? I didn't read Raymond's- Oh, whatever. We just skipped past anyway. Here to burglarize us as usual, I suppose. Huh? Is it just me or do you seem kind of different? Oh, did you notice the air of enlightenment I'm oozing? Nah, nah. There's this creepy aura surrounding you. You stink of the occult. Alright, let's take care of each ring quickly. Or as quickly as I can, anyway. Okay, nice combo. Oh, nice. That's one down. I'm trying to remember which is the boost button again. Nope, that's the pause. There you go, now I got it. Okay, block. Jerk. Just wait for it to go, bitch. Can I combo? Nope. Oh crap, crap, crap. Let's go under there. A lot easier knowing that you can just dash whenever you want to, instead of having to double dash it. Oh, not one spell card. I thought she had two. Well, I can't complain. Make it a lot easier for me, that's for sure. Alright, Marissa again. Let's see what she, uh, each one's got to say. You had a ball too after all, huh? Ouch, ouch, ouch. It did seem as if I was being possessed by something. What was that ball just now? Don't you worry about it. I got no idea either. Not exactly reassuring, but whatever. Alright, Koishi, no matter what, don't turn around. <laughs> do not do that to her. Looks like I've, I've searched most of the surface. Maybe the last few are underground. Hello. Koishi. Yep. Real horror standing right behind you. Oh, definitely. Although, with the urban legends really spread in the ground too? Hello. Where do you think I am right now? There's zero human traffic down here, so I doubt the rumors would spread. 
In the first place, high class stuff like urban legends don't really suit people down here. Hello? I've been hearing this weird sound for a while now. What is it? Oh man. What if this is another urban legend too? Hello right here now. I'm standing right in front of you, you know. Okay, that's actually pretty funny. Now we know what what they were saying. What? Oh yeah, I forgot she does her shit. Unless we stop her quickly. Okay, so Okay. Where is she? That's one down. Not yet. Once she activates, I'll use my occult ability because I haven't used that in a while. Stay here. Come on, stay here. Well, damn it, I was hoping uh, she stayed her bit and then I could just charge in. Okay, this is a little longer than I thought. That's just a lot smoother than now that I could just dash. I swear, just knowing this one feature is so amazing. Oh, nice piano, come on. Damn, missed it. And I can't get a hit with ours, so I lose my culpability for a while anyway. Oh, nice. Uh, can I hear you? Missed it, but not the worst thing. Nice. I should have a fourth for Cold Ball now, hopefully, so I can use my strongest ability if I land it. If I don't, it'd be risky. I just realized I just got three. I didn't even... Oh, whatever. Jeez, that's starting me. Don't jump out like that. If you were just some yokai, I wouldn't care. But I've got no idea what's going on right now. You see? What was that ball just now? Don't you worry about it. I don't know either. With this, I have ought to have all seven, but what's gonna happen? When exactly did I get a hold of that? No idea, no idea. All right, so this should be, let's see, either Mamizo or Kazen. Well, it's nighttime now, and I still got no, no idea what to do. My expectations were off. I figured if I just gathered them according to the rumor, something would happen, but maybe I ought to say a spell or something. Oh, God of the occult, grant me a wish or something, will ya? No, Shenron is not coming down. Hmm. Oh, it's Kazen then. What are you doing at this hour? Kazen? Oh, uh, well, nothing happened af even after I gathered the balls. So I thought I might need uh, a spell or something. Wait, are you saying you found all the occult balls? Y yeah, don't know what to do with them though. That's ridiculous. Brain was only attacked just yesterday, right? Do you have some kind of powers that help find the balls? Well, I just got a good nose is all. That is somewhat off schedule, but let's begin I suppose. Huh? In the name of the sage, whatever, I command release the band of 130 years. And this is where shit gets serious. Well, the countdown has begun. Surely you're not foolish enough to understand, not understand what to do now. I don't, I don't. What the hell's going on? If you have no intention of understanding, even you would just be eliminated in no time. Alright, let's do this. Wait, how do I activate it? Can you activate it in this game? You should be able to. I'm trying to remember which combo was. Oh, got it. Oh, I used everything, didn't I? Oh, I should have used a Sumi Rico. And she's very low. I just want to test it out. That's one down. Oh, I have no cobalt. I didn't realize I'd used every single one of them. Okay, you're serious about this, right? Don't know what's happening, though. This is a test. Naturally, if you're too weak, you're going to die soon. Ah, gotcha. Nothing to be scared of in that case. At least I understand the actions you're taking right now. Thunder sign, slow sign, whatever that is. Okay, can I pump more damage? Okay, just dodge a bit. You just gotta be careful when I use my dash attack because I used it a little too early there. Now I'm good. That's one down, how much more to go? Do you get a cup ball? No, I do not, sadly. Or maybe get one from here. Okay, can I 
get it all? Okay, that's one enough for me. Once my master sparks charge up, I'll, I'll just use it to blast her. For now, let's play safe. One, two. Oh, I'm really good at hate playing Kazen because I don't know how to play her at all. I got lucky just beating her. No, the worst problem is going to be Koishi because at least Kazen's pattern, at least you know how to press activate them. Koishi, you just don't know at all. And I don't want to use Master because I have no idea how many spell she's had before. Okay, good. That's one down, so she's not done yet. I'll activate Master Spark just in case. We'll use it now. Okay, that's good. Now I'll activate it. Oh, so close. There you go, but that would have been such a cool way to end that shit, man. Just combo, combo, boom, spark, and done, done. All right. This should, that should do. You ought to be all right out there. Hey, come on and explain already. What is going on? You've gotten yourself caught in a trap. O one that was only completed yesterday at that. You're talking about the occult balls? After investigating, I've concluded that the occult balls are like keys to open up the barrier. They're scientific artificial ma matter. They're created with matter from the outside world and have energy from outside too. Hmm, ah. And what happens when you get all of them? Whoever collects them all will themselves become a key to break open the barrier from the inside. They'll be set on a course for the outside, breaking the barrier along the way. The rumor about collecting all the balls was a forbidden rumor that someone fed us. Hmm, I see. Wait, what? And you've been caught in that very trap. The ball holds on an unknown power, and I can't do anything about them myself. So you're saying I gotta... I'm gonna have to say so long to get soaked here in a minute. Speaking of my vision, have has been wandering, wavering a bit. Hmm, don't worry though. I've anticipated this. That's why I tested your strength just now. So? Before the trap snaps shut and barriers broken, I'm sending you to the outside world myself. Find the enemy there and defeat them. Should you fail, except, expect nothing but death. Well, a little bit more intense than expected. Urban li life for just one night. Well, it was only yesterday. It's no surprise that nothing's happened yet, right? That really was a surprise yesterday, though. I can't believe I got attacked by some shrine man all of a sudden. Ow, ow, ow. It's so bright here. My eyes are starting to hurt. She's, so she said I've got about half an hour on this side, huh? Oh my gosh, I got a bite. The fact that you're flying means you're not human, I assume. Nope, I'm definitely a human. Human? I ain't, ain't for that matter. Who are you? You're a human from the outside? On top of that, you're on. You're the one who stuck... St yes. Stuck me in that trap, ain't ya? Indeed. Sorry for the late introduction. I'm Sumiriko Usami, first year student at Hagishifukami High. Right, right. A real life psychic who silences crying children. Uh-huh. Hi. What? And that's what you mean, right? A school? Yes. Do you not have them on your end? Hey, you got any urban legends about your school? Sounds real exciting. Hmm. Yes, but as opposed to that, I really like to hear about you. I mean, I called you out here because I want to know about Gins more about Kinsukyo. Called me out here. You see, I can I can actually enter your world if only a little bit. It was truly a beautiful world. So I want to expose all its secrets, even if things get a little dangerous for me in doing so. Yeah, so the barrier is in, in danger even from the outside, huh? There's a lot of stuff I want to ask you, but I don't have any more time. The name's Mursakira Sami, a real-life magician. I'm just doing my job here, is all. Yes, I'm well aware of the job of yokai in Kitsokyo. I'm human, thanks. This is the sort of work you do, right? Yeah, looks like you're a smart one. Kind of feels unfair fighting against a normal human, though. You ought to watch yourself. Even a high school girl can make her own weapons these days, after all. A high school girl, what's that? Allow me to inform you, Miss Visitor from the from another world. It's the strongest, most invincible kind of creature in the entire outside world. All right, let's see this. Start off. Okay, not the bomb. I thought I could take that. Cool, nice combo. All right. 
Hey, I got five of Okay, so I still regain Master. That's good. So I can use it for Sumiriko. I remember which part to use that. Okay, remember it's just a uh, purple wave. That's pretty easy to dodge. Okay. Just keep hitting her. Nope. Get away from that. There you go. That's one down. Uh, I'll charge up the spark just in case. Not gonna use it yet because it's way too early. Okay, I remember this one. Oh, this is annoying. Can I put the muff, muff damage? Okay. Oh, damn, forgot about that one. That hurts. Alright, I got that down. Let's see if we can get the number tap. Nope. There you go. Much better. One down. Probably use. Once I get Spark at 3000, probably use it. If not, I can use my last word. Oh, I, oh, I accident, hit it by accident. Oh, shit. But she still took full damage, though. Oh, shit. Okay. Wait for it to come back. Be good. Activate this. This should kill, hopefully. And uh, die? Yes, that's one hell of a way to end it off. And now that I know about the last words, it makes life a lot easier. All right, I'm back. So I just finished the Marissa route. So a lot more, a little in a sense, more tense than I thought it would be compared to the you know not knowing what the hell was going on, <laughs> not reading the text. But yeah. So obviously I'll have to cut off the ending just so I don't spoil that shit. Cause I'm my lesson from that. And yeah. So next time we play, we'll be taking on Kazen, which I'm not happy about, just because I'm not good with Kazen. In fact, the only character I think I was decent with was Ichiren, Moku, and maybe Sumiriko and Raimi. That's about it. So everyone else is going to be iffy at best. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the Marissa rap for this. Hope you guys learned something new from the text they uh, you know, talked about. And yeah, Kazen will be next. So like always, this is Magi. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode.